Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. May we invite you to join us in our prayers today. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions for the needs and intentions of the Greenbelt Chapel community, for all of us here present and the members of our families, and also for those who have asked for our prayers. Let us continue praying for all the victims of war, violence, and natural calamities. Let us all kneel as we now pray the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the same Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, O Lord, will open my lips. And my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Holy Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now meditate on the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation of the Lord to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his good health, safety, and protection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, Please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The second joyful mystery is the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of the Church and the world, for wisdom and guidance for all Church and government leaders, for their good governance and true conversion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead those souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, Please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The third joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. Let us offer this mystery for the complete healing and recovery of all who are sick and for those who care for them, that they may find comfort and protection in the time of need. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. As in the beginning is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of Jesus at the temple. Let us offer this mystery for all our personal needs and intentions, and the needs and intentions of all the members of our families, relatives, loved ones, and friends, and for all those who have asked for our prayers especially the intentions offered by the Greenbelt Chapel community. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead those souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, Please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of Jesus in the temple. Let us offer this mystery for all the souls in purgatory, especially the souls of our beloved dead, relatives, and friends, and those who died with no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
O God, who is only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, Despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the same Jesus, the Son of God, that we, being defended by the power of his grace and striving faithfully in life, may be crowned by him at the hour of death. Amen. Divine Child Jesus, Santo Nino de Paz, Bless and protect us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Padre Pio of Pietrocina, Pray for us. All the angels and saints, Pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us now pray the Angelus. Please all stand. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, o Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech you, O Lord. Your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection to the same Christ our Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest Amen. in peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the, the Father, Father the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Please be seated for a while.
Good evening, brothers and sisters. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. The chapel office is still accepting pre-orders for the book of our chaplain, Father Dave. It's all about relationships. Everyone is invited to attend the Healing Mass on Tuesday, October 24, at 6 p.m. The presider of the Eucharistic celebration would be Reverend Father Paolo Asprer from SSP. You are invited to our liturgical Bible study with Father Francis Gastillo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. Greenbelt Chapel is providing counseling for individuals, couples, and families. You may schedule an appointment through the chapel office or call 7729-8173. Envelopes for our dearly departed are now available at the Mass Intentions Request table near the St. Michael the Archangel image. Kindly drop the accomplished envelope in the donation box located at the side of the altar until November 15. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenbelt Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is October 22, 2023, and we are on the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We also celebrate the World Mission Sunday. Our presider for this holy sacrifice of the Mass is our chaplain, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us sing our entrance hymn. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Salupa ay kapayapan 
Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one. I have called you by your name, giving you a title. Though you knew me not, I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Give the Lord glory and honor. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods, for all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory do his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of Thessalonians. In God of Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing brothers and sisters loved by God how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come, come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. together shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in his speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this? And whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Saint Teresa of Avila constantly remind us the three important things in life. That we have only one soul, one life, one death. You only have one soul, one life, one death. You will only be born once. You will only die once. In between life, between birth and death, that is your life. When we say one death, it reminds us that everything has an end. Everything has an end. When? We do not know. But everything has an end. How it will end, we do not know. Some people die young, other people die old. Some people die simply sleeping, others out of disease. Worse, others died in accident or tragedy. But we have to accept that will come. Sabi nga, two things people can never avoid. Two things you can never escape. And what is that? Taxes and death. 
You can never avoid two things, taxes and debt. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, that's why worry not about debt. The problem is that you will die. The problem is that you have failed to live knowing you will die. Mahirap yung iniisip mo lang palagi mamamatay ka. Darating yun. Huwag ka ma-excite. Darating yun. Di ba? But thinking so much about that, you might fail to live. You might fail to live. As I always say to, to people coming here for prayers, Father, may cancer ako, may cancer ako. And I always ask, so why? Why are you worried? Why are you worried? Because you always think that cancer will always bring death. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, maraming namatay na walang sakit. Diba? Maraming namatay na walang sakit. Yung iba nga, hindi nila alam na may sakit sila. Namatay na lang. At least, ikaw, alam mo, may cancer ka, naghahanda ka. Diba? Naghahanda ka. Sabi nga nung isang matanda sa parokya, na matagal ko lang hindi nakikita, sabi ko, Tay, mukhang madalas ang simba nyo ah. Matagal ko na kayo hindi nakikita. Sabi niya, nagpapakilala uli ako. <laughs> Baka nakalimutan ako ni Lord. ba? Diba? Mahirap yung hindi ka man lang nakita sa simbahan, umaasa ka, makapasok sa pinto ng langit. Di po ba? No? We only have one debt. One soul is because of life. The problem with the soul is where it will be after you will die. Where will your soul stay after you will die? The soul stays eternity. Either it will stay with God or away from God. San pupunta ang kaluluwa? Palagi ko yung sinasabi. Dalawa lang yan. Smoking or non-smoking. Doon lang. Yun lang ang pupuntahan ng kaluluwa mo. Di po ba, no? Nung minsan, ang taas ng, ang taas ng temperature, sabi niya, kailangan magbagong buhay na ako. Bakit? Dito ang init eh. Imposibleng mas malabig doon. Di ba? Kaya kung hindi mo kayang init dito, aba, mga kapatid, mas mainit doon. Di po ba? kahit mas maraming engineer na napunta doon, hmm. mainit pa rin. Ah. Hindi sila nakagawa ng aircon. Di po ba? No? Maganda pagtunan na pansin yun. Where your soul stays will depend on how you live your life. How you live your life. The second reading invites us of three things. That you must have faith. You must have faith on the person who has the power well to put your soul. You must have faith on the person who has the power not only to kill but to send your soul to Gehenna. Yun ang sabi kahapon. Yun ang sabi kahapon. Inuulit ko. Everybody will die but not everyone no one, no one in this world can tell us where our soul will stay except the God we believe. That's why the second reading reminds us that you must have faith. Because without faith, there is nothing to hope for. Kung wala kang pananampalataya, wala kang pwedeng asahan. Wala kang pwedeng asahan. Pero, Kung meron ka man ng pananampalataya at nananalig ka sa Diyos, then, mabuhay ka ng may pagmamahal. That's the, that's the second reading all about. Let your faith gives you hope. Let your hope make you live and love. Why? Because the saints have said, especially St. John of the Cross, 
at the end, at the twilight of our life, when we bend our knees before God, God will never ask the question how much money you have, where you have been, what titles you have gained. There is only one question. How much love you have given? How much love you have given? He will not even ask the question, have you done good? Have you done good? Because you can do things not out of love. You can do things out of love. But you can also do good things not out of love. Election na naman. Marami na namang mabait. Di ba? Marami na naman na nangangako. Baka bumaba uli ang bigas. No? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Malungkot na kwento. Di po ba, anak? Malungkot na kwento. You have to ask yourself, where do I put my faith? Do I put, do I practice my faith by living in love? By hoping in God? Anong meron sa first reading? This is very true. This is very true. Even though you don't have faith in God, God loves you. Even though you don't believe in God, God loves you. Even though you sin, still God loves you. Even though you don't want to go to heaven, still God loves you. That's the reality of the first reading. Kahit hindi mo ako kilala, ano sabi ng Diyos sa unang pagbasa? Itinangi kita. Itinangi kita. Ganong kabuti ang Diyos. Ganong kabuti ang Diyos. Kaya nga, magandang pagtunan ng palsin ito, mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Balik tayo. Ha? Tandaan mo, minsan ka lang mabubuhay, minsan ka lang mamamatay, isa lang ang iyong kaluluwa. Minsanan lang. Minsanan lang. Kaya mahalaga na meron kang pananampalataya upang meron kang pag-asa at mabuhay ka sa pag-ibig. Kaya nga, ang unang pagbasa ay nagpapaalala na kahit wala ka nito, magsimula ka sa katotohanan na merong Diyos na nagmamahal. Nagmamahal. Ngayon, anong kaugnayan ng mga ito sa Ebanghelyo? Sabi, ipakita mo sa akin ang dinaryo. Show me a coin. What, what do you see in the coin? Ang mukha ni Caesar at ang inscription, ang nakasulat doon. Kaya, kung nakasulat dyan ay mukha ni Caesar, ibigay mo kay Caesar ang para kay Caesar. Hindi mahirap bang intindihin yun? Hindi. Madali lang yun. Tama po ba? Madali lang yun. Pero, ito ang tanong. Pag tumitingin po ba kayo sa salamin, tumitingin kayo sa salamin, nananalamin kayo, hindi pa ba? Ano? Siyempre, mananalamin ka. Pag tumingin ka sa salamin, ano ang iyong nakikita? Yun ang ibig sabihin ng Ebanghelyo ngayon. Pag tumingin ka sa salamin, ano ang iyong nakikita? Hello? Natatakot ka ba? Masaya ka ba? Malungkot ka ba? Inuulit ko. Pag tumitingin ka sa salamin, ano ang iyong nakikita? Yun ang tanong. Yun ang ibang helyo ngayon. Anong kaugnayan nun, Father? Mukha ko sa salamin. Nilikha ka na kawangis ng Diyos. You are created in the image and likeness of God. So every time you look at your face in the mirror, you are supposed to see the image of God in you. And if you are created in the image of God, you see yourself. Ano sinasabi? Ni San Mateo sa Ebanghelyo, ibigay mo sa Diyos ang para sa Diyos. Kung ang mukha mo 
ay mukha ng Diyos, ibigay mo sa Diyos ang para sa Diyos. Sabagat ang mukha na yan, hindi para sa iyo. Kahit ritoke tayo ng ritoke, hindi po ba, na? Ritoke ng ritoke. As if mababago pa, hindi po ba, na? Sabi nga nung isang kaibigan kong pumila sa iPhone, grabe, ganun pa lang, pila, ha? Yung isa pumila, Tuesday pa lang, nagtayo na lang ng tent dyan, ha? Para lang maka number one, di ba, ano? Pinipilahan mo yung iPhone, ha? Kailan ka kaya pumili kay, kay Lord, no? Ah, sabi ni Lord, ha? nakapila ka sa iPhone. Sige, sa iPhone ka pumunta. Di ba? Di ba, na? Nakapila sa iPhone. Di ba? Pinipilahan mo. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Anong mahalaga sa buhay? Di ba? Hello? Kaya mahalagang, sabi nga niya, ano, alam mo ba, Father, nakita ko yung mga artista doon, nakapila din. Wow. Ano pa? Magkakamukha sila. Ano lang sinabi ko? Iisang tumira, di ba? Iisang nagritoke. Kaya magkakamukha, di po ba, ano? Ganun yun. Iisang hulma, eh. di po ba, ano? Mahirap yun. Bakit? Pag namatay ka, papasok ka sa pinto ng langit, ha? mayroong facial recognition, <laughs> hindi ka kamukha. Yari ka ngayon. Di ba? Ano? Ah, di ba? Ang dami sa inyong nagpagawa doon sa AI, no? Ha? Aliw na aliw ka kasi ang ganda mo doon eh. Sa tunay na buhay, nge, di ba, no? Maganda pagtunay ng pansin nyo. You are created in the image and likeness of God. How come? How come? You try to keep on altering it. Very few really appreciate the face that God has created. Di ba? Minsan naka-jeep ako. Madalang na madalang yan. Malinis na malinis yung pantalong ko. Ingat na ingat ako. Tapos do sa tapat ko, may batang uhugin. Sorry for the words. Ha? Talagang tulo. Eh. Tulo. Ha? <laughs> Sorry ha. Kasi ninenervis ako baka pag para, pag, pag, pag preno o dumapa sa pantalon mo eh, di ba? Sorry ha. Talagang, ay hindi ka, talagang gano'n. <laughs> di, ang dungis talaga, ang dungis, ano po? Tapos, nakita ng nanay, pinunasan. Pagkapunas, singa. Shhh. Tapos, Hinalikan ng nanay. Sabi ng nanay, um pogi pogi na nako. <laughs> diba? Nanay lang talaga, no? Nanay lang nagsasabing pogi ka. ba diba, no? Kaya pag nagsasabi sa akin, ay, nakita din kitang personal father. Sabi ko, parehas lang, ano? Hindi, mas pogi. Ay! Yan ang sabi ng nanay ko. ba? Diba? Very few appreciate. But God appreciates His creation. May pangit bang anak ng Diyos? Wala. Bakit? Ano sabi sa Biblia? Some were given much, others were given more. Ang iba'y binigyan ng sapat, ang iba'y binigyan ng higit. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Sapat na kapugihan. Yung iba, mas higit na fogi. Kaya walang si- nilikhang, Pangit. Di ba? Kaya nga yung classmate kong pare, tuwing papasok kami sa CR, ang una niya talagang sinasabi, ay, ang pogi ko talaga. 
Di ba? Why wait for the world? Listen. Why wait for the world to tell you how you look? That's the sad story. We have given the power to the social media to criticize us. Di ba? Binigyan nyo na kapangyarihan ng social media na sabihin sa inyo, pangit ang maputing buhok. Pangit ang may kulubot. Pangit ang matanda. Sino may sabi? Social media, di po ba? Ano? Kaya yung nakikialam sa akin, Father, may nagbigay sa akin na shampoo. Father, pag ginamit mo yan, makakaitim ng buhok yan. Sabi ko, anim na pong taong ko yung inantay bago pumuti. Papaitimin mo lang? Tumigil ka, di ba? Why? Because we always failed to appreciate. Again, baka nakakalimutan nyo, there is only one soul, one life, one death. Because of that, learn to live in faith so that you can hope and love. Whether you like it or not, you are loved by God, whether you know Him, whether you pray, whether you go to Mass. But do not forget the Gospel that what is written, what you see, belongs to the Creator. That's why when you look at the mirror, hopefully, you find the face of God for you are created in the image and likeness of God. And when you find the face of God in you, the simple answer is, give to God what belongs to God. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are reminded of our duty to fulfill our civic and religious obligations as we pray for the grace of harmonize both. To harmonize both, let us remember in a special manner those who find it difficult to do so. And the repetition of the response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the universal church, may she enjoy freedom of action in proclaiming and pro promoting the gospel values in all civil societies. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For the Holy Father, our bishop, our parish priests, and other religious leaders, May they ever more successfully enlighten us on how best to fulfill our civic and religious duties. 
Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our government officials and all other civil leaders, may they lead us by their honesty and integrity in fulfilling their obligations to God and country. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our missionaries throughout the world, may the Lord make their apostolate fruitful, give them the strength to overcome all difficulties and reward their generosity with everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our community, may all of us always feel our duties as honest citizens and good Catholics and thereby contribute to the building of God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Let us now pray in silence for our personal intentions and needs. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our loving Father, we thank you for having made the citizens of, of our country and members of your church. Grant us an ever better appreciation of these twin gifts and an ever greater eagerness to contribute to the good of both through the exemplary fulfillment of our civic and religious obligation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. This bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work in the hands of me, they will become for us by the mystery. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty deeds. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory as without end we acclaim. Mm -hmm. 
For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing and put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, Please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite your brothers and sisters that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Do not forget Every time God looks at us, He sees His face. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
with Padre Pio, Petro Chino, and all the saints of Lisho throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace here in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the beginning and the end, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him 
in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be at the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. Also, please consume the host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrucina. Please kneel. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we call on Father Jemboy Caspis, MCCJ, to promote their magazine in celebration of the World Mission Sunday. Please be seated for a while. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Good evening, Father Day. Uh, my name is Father Jimboy Caspis. I am a Comboni missionary. I am with Father Aldrin. Uh, we, the Comboni missionaries, we are working in different parts of the world. I am uh, from General Santos City. I was assigned in Kenya for 10 years. And now I am here in the Philippines helping our publication. The World Mission Magazine. Father Aldrin will share something. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Father Jim Boy and myself, originally we are from Jensen, and uh, we both belong to the uh, Comboni missionaries. My brother served the country of Kenya for nearly 10 years. Uh, I did also some years in Kenya and also 16 years in South Africa. We're here to appeal to your kindness to patronize our magazine. Uh, it's called World Mission Magazine. Now this is a, a monthly magazine produced by the Combonis for the past 30 years. A suggestion of your support to the frontliners of our church. We appeal to your kindness to subscribe to your magazine and uh, this would cost you 700 pesos a year. Now, this magazine contains all the updates, stories, and testimonies of our missionaries 
male and female, working outside our country. Uh, for, one, for one year, it will cost you 700. Monthly, you shall be receiving this magazine. Meron din po kaming 400. Uh, you shall be receiving the magazine for six months. And also, meron din kaming kalendaryo. Uh, this would cost you 80 pesos. It's a real gift for a friend. Maybe month of November or December. Father Jemboy will conclude everything. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you will help us through your generosity and being our partner, helping our mission. We may be able to continue our mission. Uh, thank you so much, Father Dave, for uh, accepting our appeal to us to help your support. Uh, because of this magazine, we became also, we became priests because your contribution, it will help our seminarians and also for us, we will be able to spread uh, the good news. Today is World Mission Sunday, even though not all of us can go to other country to, to serve, but as we are baptized Christian, we are all missionaries. So thank you so much and God bless you. Yung form of subscription nandun po, ano po? Ha? Ubusin nyo na. Isang taon naman yan. Po ba? Isang taon. Napansin nyo yung picture kanina? Hindi nyo nakita Sayang. Ha? Pag pumunta kayo sa Kenya, maputing maputi kayo. Pero pag sila ba'y pumunta dito, nagpaputi sila, gaganda ba sila? Hindi. Nilika silang ganon. Ano po? Nilika silang ganon. Yung mga kaedad ko, huwag nyo itatanggi. Yun yung mga panahon ng Laina. Di ba na? Oh. Pada kahit gusto pumuti, naku, pahid ng pahid ng Laina ng ganon. Kaya pag pumasok ka sa elevator, ay, mahirap huminga, may line na. Po. Gustong pumuti eh. Nasa na kaya sila ngayon? Ano po? Sana nakapasok sila sa pinto ng langit. No? Kasi mahirap yung paritoke, tenor paritoke. Hindi tayo makapasa sa facial recognition. Ano po? Please rise. Again, my brothers and sisters, think about this. There is only one life, one soul, one death. Look at yourselves in the mirror. That person has only have one life, one soul, one death. You are created in the image and likeness of God. So you give to God what belongs to God by living in faith, hope, and love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.